Yes, it started with a bang the weekend. Lovely jubbler, 2-1 win again for the Leicester boys, which is four games now at the start of the season. Nice, very nice. So, before we get into that, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel as we talk Leicester news. Right, here we go. Now, most of us couldn't watch the game at the weekend due to the fact that we're in the Championship and it wasn't televised as such. So it's quite difficult to uh, to re-watch and find the actual 90 minutes of the game. But what I have seen is pretty impressive. Now, Maresca has spoken out about Leicester's performances on uh, when the World Smiles Review podcast, I think it is. Um, he said that Leicester only playing about a 20% of what he believes they can do. So if we are winning four games back to back and only playing at about a 20% level where he wants us to play, surely we're storming this league, right? Big shout out to main man Cassidy. Debut, gets the winning goal. It's everything you want in a debut. Everything you want on a debut. Not... Like maybe Chelsea's yesterday. We won't go into that. It's not on the channel. But you know exactly who I'm on about. A lot of money for a dog shit performance. Right. But Leicester City are on to a roll here. This is the first time for the club have had four wins um, at the start of the season. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me know. Do you think we can go unbeaten in the league? Am I getting ahead of myself? Will we break the record points? I think we did 106 before, or was it 104? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure Leicester could do it if we keep going the way we're going. We're still grinding out wins somehow, some way, even if we're not playing at our best. We are still getting caught at the back sometimes on the counters. We are quite slow, and I've heard nothing but good things about the dressing room. I have spoke to someone as well, which you probably know I'm not going to name, um, that's told me some good things about behind the scenes. So that's good too. Now, as I said, good things are happening in the dressing room. This is the highest and best feeling in the dressing room since around 2021, around the time that we won the FA Cup. Um, and here's some more news for you, insight information. Connor Cody has been travelling with the squad on away games. Even when he doesn't have to, he's still travelling and maintaining his, um, I suppose, his social connection with the players, the staff, everything else. It looks like he is the team captain, leader, whatever you want to call him. Seems to be that seems to be passing on, and uh, that's only a good thing to see as well. Uh, we've needed this. We've needed someone that cares, a bit of grit and passion. I've seen the players fight for the badge like I've not seen them for quite some time. You only have to watch some of the, you know, the, the, the goals that have gone in and the wins. That one at the end where Cassidy scores, they, that meant everything on the badge to those players. And that's what we need as fans. We need to see that more often. Now, some other news. Interesting. This one's about the King Power Stadium's expansion. We've not heard much about it for quite some time, but a Twitter account has popped up that's following all that news. Now, I'll put the t the Twitter account here on the screen for you. It's at KP Expansion. I don't know who's running this, but I'm going to read out the couple of tweets, and here's the image as well, so you can see. As previously mentioned, expansion will be the North east and south stand the north and south stand will receive a few new rows of seats at the top of the stands and roughly two times larger concourse new turnstiles will be added to all three stands as well and the lower pink section is the lower concourse that's the photo there i've uploaded as well so you can see that which will just be an extension 
The upper pink, green and purple is the hospitality area with the purple housing hospitality booths. The larger blue area, as expected, is a huge open concourse. We expect the bottom concourses on the three stands to get complete makeovers, including the toilets and stalls, to bring them, bring them to newer standards able to house larger crowds and reduce waiting times. Now that's just been posted uh, only a few hours ago. Uh, if you want to go and check that out, that account seems to be giving you all the updates on the King Power expansion. Again, I don't know who's running it, but they've got some interesting pictures and diagraphs. So go and check that one out. Um, it's interesting to see that we've, we're starting to get a few different details. Again, I'm not saying it's official. I don't know where this has come from, but it looks legit to me, which is why I've put it here on the channel for you to go and have a look at too. Um, and in another... Little bit of side news. It's Nigel Pearson's 60th. Yep. Ostrich army, ostrich army. You got your head in the sand, my friend. Yes, Nigel Pearson. I don't know if you guys like Nigel Pearson or not. He's very Marmite, um, but he, he is what he is. Uh, I enjoyed his time here at the club on the occasions he's been come been and gone and been and gone um including obviously his team carrying over to Ranieri's side which I still think was a little unfair that he you know he didn't get anything for it but it is what it is he wasn't here but I look he's he's <laughs> he's a character he's a legend uh Mary Mary many happy returns to Nigel Pearson on his 60th birthday today right and on that note i'm going to go into this do not click be a member to the elite membership we have a problem with the playback app we have a problem with it we can't do it anymore and i can't cancel that membership until uh, i think it's 28 days from the, the when it was created so don't be an elite member that is now going to have to go. Um, I'm going to try and do something for the elite members that are here until the end of you know the membership. Uh, so thank you again. I do apologise. It's out of my hands. Way out of my hands. Nothing I can do. Uh, and last but not least, watch along time at the weekend. Hopefully we can sort a watch along out. I, I don't know what to say. This weekend was just sucks. Couldn't get the game. Uh, a lot of us couldn't watch the game, but apparently it was available, but I don't know. You'd have to throw some loopholes to find it. But this weekend, I mean, I've got all sorts of v VPN passes and all sorts that I'm paying for. So I should be able to get it um, at the weekend. So if it's scheduled, you know we're going to be here for the show. If not, then you know it's not. That's That's it. Right. Thank you all for coming in. I shall see you very soon on the next video. Smash the likes, hit the subscribe button, and I shall see you in a bit. It's never quick.